Welcome back. We all know the bond between parents and their children starts at birth, but a new book by a local doctor suggests that special bond between the mother and her baby starts much sooner. This morning, author and OBGYN Dr. Sean Tassone with the St. David's Women's Center of Texas is here to talk about this relationship. Good morning to morning. you. So you've got a copy of your book here. Yes. It is called Spiritual Pregnancy. Correct. So tell me about the concept of, and this bond that happens much sooner than some of us think. I think uh, I, we wrote this book, my wife and I were both OBGYNs, um, because we were looking at, I think we've lost the mystical side of healthcare. We've lost, you know, the ancient ways. It's, it's more about medicines right now and big tests. And there wasn't any other mystical, more mystical thing I could think of than pregnancy because you have, this is the only time men can experience this when there's another human being inside your body. And women feel the baby move, they have dreams about the gender, they have um, old wives tales about things and all this kind of culminated into why do we have these things and then how can we, babies can taste when they're in the, in the uterus still, they can hear, how can women bond with their baby on different levels through things like yoga, journaling, uh, dream journals, and things like that. You hear all of these things, things, these things help, but you're saying there is truth to it. Yeah, I think that a lot of the times, you know, my mom always used to tell me the reason that I liked watermelon when I was a, a, a boy was because she craved watermelon when she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And there has been some new research that shows that women who crave certain things during their pregnancy, that their babies can taste that food. And so we don't realize maybe and, and that, that we do have that connection to the baby while the baby's still in the uterus. How does that then correlate into, you know, behavior, things you're doing during the pregnancy? But I think it's more like the mom and the baby have this special bond that I think we talk about after the babies are born. Women have been shown uh, in their 90s to have DNA from their boys, if they had sons, still in their brains um, on autopsies years later, which shows that mother's intuition may actually be a real thing because that DNA is still connected with their mother. Mm -hmm. So it goes much deeper than just having the child. And when you see patients, I mean, there are examples that show up in your office on a probably a regular basis, but there's one situation where you talk about, and some moms uh, expecting mothers could learn from this, where uh, there was a mom who would sing to her unborn mm -hmm. child, and then when the baby was born, it would actually stop crying. Yep. I think that the babies, if you watch, you probably don't see as many deliveries as, as I might, but when the dad starts talking to the baby after it's born, or the mother, when we put the baby on the mother's belly to breastfeed, the babies will immediately calm down. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're used to that voice. They're used to the, the, the way that they talk and the songs. It's a, it's a comfort. It's something that they hear for eight, eight nine months. And so they get used to that. So it, it, it's definitely a way to, to soothe. Very interesting. Dr. Sassone, thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. this Thanks morning. For having me. The book is out. It's been out for a little over a week. A whole week, yeah. A whole week now. So check it out. Again, Thanks. it's called Spiritual Pregnancy.